A man was injured in a car accident and had to stay home for a few weeks until he recovered. His wife was working and wasn't able to take care of him. It was too painful for him to go outside, so he had to spend most of his time in the apartment. For the first couple of days, it was easy. He had a lot of things to do, but after a few days had passed, he became very bored. One day, he was watching TV when he happened to hear footsteps and children's voices coming from the apartment above him. He wondered why the children were home, because the schools were not on holidays yet. The next day, he heard the same footsteps and children's voices. It sounded like there were two children playing. The next day, the man grew even more bored and didn't feel like cooking lunch for himself. Instead, he ordered a pizza delivery. As it turned out, he ordered too much, and when he finished eating, there was still one whole pizza lying untouched on the kitchen table. He remembered that there were some children living in the apartment above him, so he decided that they may like a free pizza. Upstairs, and willing to do something kind, he decided to take the pizza to them. The man had never met the family who lived in the upstairs apartment, but he rang the doorbell anyway. There was no answer, even though he heard someone moving about inside. He rang the bell again and noticed that someone was peering at him through the peephole. Who is it? Called a faint woman's voice from behind the door. The man explained that he lived in the apartment below and had some leftover pizza from lunch and wondered if the family wanted it. The door opened slightly and the man could see part of the woman's face through the gap. He noticed that it looked unusually dark inside the apartment. Thanks, but we don't want any, said the woman coldly. Maybe your children would like it, replied the man. As soon as he said this, two children's faces lined up below the woman's face. The door was open still just a crack. The children stared at him. The three faces were forming a line. Okay, give it to me then, said the woman. A hand reached out through the gap and snatched the pizza box. The man just stood there. The three faces were still staring at him. Then the door slammed shut and he walked away. Something was bothering him. He felt a chill run down his spine. The image of the three faces was burned into his mind. He walked faster and reached the elevator. The faces were forming a line, he thought to himself. He pressed the button and waited for the elevator to arrive, forming a line, vertically, one on top of the other. He pressed the button again and again, but the lift still did not come. Something was seriously wrong. The faces. He began quickly walking down the stairs. Faces lined up on top of each other. That's impossible. He frantically ran down the stairs. No bodies. Finally, he reached his apartment door. Just hands holding up the heads. Safely inside his apartment, the man picked up the phone and called the police. He tried to explain what he had seen. When the police arrived, they searched the apartment upstairs and found the bodies of the woman and her two children lying in the bathtub. Their heads were missing. They had been decapitated with a saw. According to the autopsy, they had been dead for three days. The police found the woman's husband hiding in a wardrobe. His hands were covered in blood and he had gone completely insane. He kept trying to convince the police officers that his wife and kids were still alive. They found an uneaten pizza sitting on the kitchen table.